Hey everyone, thanks again for joining me on Sealed for Good. If you haven't yet subscribed, please remember to do so. But today I'm talking about flood testing your waterproofing application. So why do we flood test and why should you do it? Well, this has become a discussion point that I've found has become more and more prevalent over the last five years, particularly, because there's always the onus of the responsibility. And when things go wrong, people want to understand, well, was the job done correctly at the start? My suggestion where you can schedule this with your works is to flood test, particularly things like bathrooms and balcony applications where there's drains. It's important that you leave a job and prove the quality control processes you have in place. Encourage with your builder in your quotes in your systems that hey, this is a flood test I want conducted after the membrane has been complete. Sign off for 24 or 48 hours. Sometimes there's commercial projects we're now seeing specifications where they're requiring that, or they may want it random, particularly on commercial jobs, that one out of every 10 bathrooms is flood tested. But if you are the applicator and you encourage it, it means that you've got nothing to hide. You're actually showing a higher quality level of your waterproofing job. Now, you might be asking, well, what happens with the job that's gonna get delayed? That is real, and it might depend on the scheduling of the job, the type of client you've got, and how it's worked. Now, if you've got a liquid membrane in the winter time, you don't wanna be waiting a week for flood testing to happen, then 48 hours, and then the tile is gonna come on, because that can delay the job. But you've also got options like our sheet systems. One of the beauties of our Express Lay range, our Express Pro, multi-pro membrane, our BRW range particularly as well, they can be flood tested literally as the job's complete. And this is the big advantage, and those systems are there for you. But whatever system you're using, a cementitious system, a liquid membrane, a sheet system, encourage it. Because what should happen is the drain is blocked, water is sitting on the membrane, and it needs to be there for a minimum of 24 hours, an absolute minimum. Don't do this two or four hour flood testing, that's not enough. two things you're checking when you flood test it. One is the water level that's dropped. How much water could have been lost in that area that's been flooded? And that's a very important observation. So you know, if you've filled it up to 10 or 20 mil high, what that water level is the next day. Okay, now you've got to take evaporation into consideration, but if there's been a massive water loss, then you know it's gone through the membrane system somewhere. The second thing you're observing is once you remove the water after the flood testing, is what the membrane's looking like, particularly if it's a liquid. Is it softening? Is there blistering? Does it look the same? There might have been watermarked, which is not an issue. Some membranes will stain. It doesn't mean they're failing. There may be applications where you physically or feasibly can't flood test, but that might be the minority. The majority of your jobs that you can flood test, encourage it. Discuss it with your client, as I mentioned earlier, and that way you've got a job that's complete, you can sign off on it, and if there is an issue in the future, you can go back to that flood test and know that the membrane when it was tested, before it was finished over, was bulletproof. And then, what if there is if there has been a leak, it may have been damaged in the process of someone else coming on top of the membrane. But that is part of the piece of the puzzle that you can sign off on, nod and say you know the job was done complete and waterproof at the time of when you've done that work. If you've got any questions on flood testing and how the best ways of doing it, our sales team around the country will help you with that. Our GAP program will go through this as well, encourage ways of how to do that. But more importantly, the onus is on you. Take responsibility and change the level and quality of waterproofing we're doing around the country, and you'll find that those leaks out there will minimize. Until next time on Seal for Good, I'll see you then, and don't forget to subscribe.